What's up guys, Peter here for reviews on anything and in this video we're having a look at some travel sleeping gear. This is it, it's very tiny, uh, this is actually a travel sheet from a company named Cocoon. Now in early videos we already looked at some Cocoon uh, products, mainly their uh, travel pillow and also their microfiber towels. And uh, Cocoon makes very lightweight, very high quality functional products for people that go camping, that go trekking, hiking and so on. And this is no exception. There's a full size uh, sheet in here that you can use either to uh, line your sleeping bag to add a bit of extra heat or you can use it in a hotel or youth hostel or anything where you don't really trust the quality of the sheets provided and want something of your own to sleep in. Um, it comes in this little handy carry pouch as you might imagine that also serves as the actual packaging actually. Uh, and the beauty of this is that it's 100% silk so it's super high quality and it's actually the highest uh, of this line of blankets or travel sheets, so to speak, uh, the highest rated in uh, additional temperature. And it only weighs 160 grams, so it's actually also the lightest of this line of travel sheets. Uh, so it's pretty cool, we're gonna have a look at it. It's gonna be a bit of a challenge to uh, get it all right on camera, but I'm gonna try anyway. Uh, and we're gonna see if it's actually any good for what they claim it is. All right, so here we are in my bedroom. Now, don't worry, I'm not gonna go full commando on you. Uh, but since this is a sleeping tool, uh, there's no real way around it uh, than to test it on my bed since that's usually the biggest flat surface you have in your house. And laying on the floor is not very comfortable. So, I got the Cocoon 100% uh, silk travel sheet right here in its little pouch. Uh, and that's actually one of the first things uh, I should mention about this uh, sheet. It's very nice and very light and very thin and all. Uh, but that makes it also slightly awkward to handle. There's a lot of material to sort of fly around. And you can see that it wrinkles uh, quite a lot. But, you know, since you're sleeping in it, that's not really a problem. Now, folding it out, you get an idea of the size of this. Uh, there we go. This easily covers me, as you can see. So that's uh, actually quite nice. But the kicker is that this is not uh, a sheet, per se, that is just a giant rectangle. Because um, you can also use this as a mummy liner for your sleeping bag, for example. So that means that the uh, sheet itself is made like a sleeping bag, uh, which means it is actually, it folds open like so. And as you can see, this side is completely closed, which means that you should get in like this. And now you're completely covered, which is actually quite nice because you can imagine that when, if you're using this in a sleeping bag situation, uh, obviously it gets quite uh, awkward, I would almost say to get it all the way down to the foot end of your sleeping bag if it isn't uh, you know, a bag shape itself. Luckily though, as you can um, hopefully tell, there's plenty of room for your feet. Uh, it's wide enough, uh, not like those uh, you know, mummy kind of sleeping bags that taper in, because uh, then there's no room for your feet at all. Uh, so it's actually quite nice that it's uh, wide, which really broadens the ability to use this in a hotel room or a hostel, for example. Now, I'll get fully in it. There you go. There's a big um, hood almost here uh, where you could potentially put a pillow in. So if the pillow in your hotel or hostel is also kind of dodgy, you can put it in there without uh, exposing your face to uh, the pillow. There is a little uh, Velcro over here. Uh, you probably can't see it on camera, but there is. Uh, which is used to hold it in place and clip in here. And as you can see, I am now fully in the sheet. Luckily, there is still room for your arm to get out on this side. Uh, not on the other side, though. Uh, but that means that you have a lot of freedom of movement anyway. And obviously, you can also just sleep sort of part partially in it. Uh, and you'll be very comfortable in your own sheet uh, and, you know, not get too stuffed up here. But then again, when you're sleeping in a sleeping bag, you're usually fully zipped up anyway. Uh, but it's again, yeah, nice that the sheet offers you know a variety of options uh, for you to sleep in. Now this is the blue version uh, in 100% silk. Cocoon actually sells a whole range of different kind of blankets depending on what kind of uh, temperature demands you might have. Uh, obviously, uh, the materials vary a little bit, meaning the weights will vary as well. Uh, this is actually the lightest one they sell. And because it's silk, it'll add the most temperature to your sleeping bag. So you can imagine if your sleeping bag is rated to a certain temperature, add this, and you can add four, five, six more degrees to the temperature, which is quite nice. Uh, but depending on what you're looking for, uh, Cocoon has a whole range of sheets that you can choose from. Uh, personally, I like this actually quite a lot. 
because uh, silk uh, is um, obviously keeping you warm, uh, but it's also breathable enough uh, to keep it not too warm when you're using it in summer, for example. Um, so when it's really hot outside, this is a nice uh, sheet to sleep under uh, without getting too hot. So that's actually quite nice. And the wrinkling, you know, doesn't really matter. It's just a matter of uh, using it a few times and the wrinkles will be gone. Uh, and it looks kind of funny, actually, I think. All in all, I like this actually uh, quite a lot uh, because of the lightness, because of the compactness, uh, but mostly because of the uh, variety in circumstances you can use this in. Anything, like I already said, from stuffing your uh, sleeping bag with an extra liner, uh, using it in a hotel, uh, using it in a hostel, uh, maybe even on an airplane, uh, you know, when you're having a long flight and you don't really want to sleep under an airplane blanket, this is perfect. And you don't always have to get into it. I mean, for example, in an airplane, you can also just sleep under it, uh, fold it up slightly. Uh, that said though, in an airplane, you know, because it's such a, a large piece of fabric and because it is so thin, it might be a bit awkward to uh, manhandle it, but that's, you know, a small price to pay for a lot of comfort, uh, a very high quality blanket uh, that really does the trick and really does the job well, as promised, really. Uh, but that's to be expected because it's not a cheap blanket uh, and Cocoon is a quality brand that offers, uh, you know, usually what they claim they offer, which is nice. This was Peter from Reviews and Anything with the bedroom review of the Cocoon 100% Silk Travel Sheet. Hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, in this uh, slightly different location than usual, uh, but I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers!